Welcome to the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This podcast is a safe place for us to have weekly discussions about mental health, Christ, personal development, and the tools to live our best lives. Please stay tuned for a new episode. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green, and this is episode number 11. So episode 11 comes out on November 11th. How cool is that? Um, So a few housekeeping announcements, don't forget to subscribe, share and rate the podcast, sharing and rating, rating the podcast shows me that you guys enjoy the content. And before we get any further in the episode, I wanted to shout out our first review. So our first review comes from D Good Ground. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for reviewing the show. And I'm going to shout you out right now. So D Good Ground said this podcast is informational, thought provoking and concise. Lauren has an incredibly soothing voice that encourages you to access and apply truth to grow in every area of your life. She's dope. Thank you for listening to the podcast. I enjoy and appreciate you so much so uh, another housekeeping announcement is the last episode of the podcast for 2019 will be on december 9th i'm taking this break to re-strategize refocus and plan for 2020 and really seek the lord about where he wants me to take the podcast and who he would want me to have on the show right so you can still listen to all the episodes when december 9th after december 9th you can listen to all the episodes that are up and we and i will have new episodes for the show in january 2020 so last week we started our fourth quarter series so all of the episodes from here on out until the end of 2019 will be the fourth quarter series so the fourth quarter series is things that we need to be doing as it relates to the end of the year right so if you haven't listened to the first episode in the series go back and listen to it i will also put the link of that episode in the show notes so this episode starts this episode starts um, a series of two to three episodes about the importance of our year in review or our end of the year reflection. So I think it is very important that we that we take a hard look of our highs and lows, wins and losses of 2019. And the holiday season is a great season to do that because you have time off you're around family you have more free time because of the holidays just like I said and I wanted to share with you guys what the definition of reflection is is the definition of reflection is serious thought or consideration and another definition I wanted to highlight to you guys is retrospective Um, and that means looking back on past situations or events it is important that we take that we um think deeply on what happened in 2019 you know what i'm saying a true sign of growth is when you're able to reflect on what happened and admit your mistakes and accept responsibility for your actions right and another sign of responsibility is accepting your responsibility and changing your behavior right it's no it's reflecting on your year is twofold yes reflecting on your year understanding what happened understanding what 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 went right and what went good and also learning from what you did wrong and changing your behavior and improving and improving your mindset improving your health overall right so if you hear pages um pages turning that is because i started 
journaling different questions that I found on Google um, to do your year in review. So I started journaling this first and then I will eventually, once I'm finished, finished, um, type it up in like a Google Doc or something so I can have it, like I can see it um, typed up. So the first section of the year in review is learning from the good. So that means learning from your accomplishments and strengths. I think sometimes we get so caught up in life circumstances that we do not celebrate our accomplishments and what we did well. So the questions I ask myself are, what did I do well? And what did I achieve this year? I'm going to say it again. What did I do well? And what did I achieve this year? All right. So some of the things that I accomplished this year was that I became I, be, I became a licensed graduate professional counselor. I started a job as a therapist. I took a vacation. I started a podcast. I learned how to record and edit podcasts. Um, I learned how to advocate for my physical health. I engaged more in self-reflection. I started therapy this year. I practiced self-care and really learned overall what that means. I also started paying off student loan debt. That was very important to me. And one of the things that I also did that was very important was I start, I did a five-day water fast from six to six, the days that I did it. And it really strengthened me spiritually. I also found a community for polycystic kidney disease and the new medicine that I'm on, Giant Arc. So I found a group of people on Facebook who are also battling this disease as well. So the next section that I worked on for the year in review is that I focused on learning from the bad or learning from the mistakes. So The questions I ask myself are, what are some things I did not do well and what are some areas areas I struggled in? So, you know, this episode will be a very transparent episode. So I was, you know, telling all of my not dirt, but telling all of what, you know, I did wrong and what I did good this year. Um, This episode will be very vulnerable and transparent. So some of the things I struggled with this year, um, I had a hard time with letting people go. Um, Sometimes I realized that I was not assertive enough. Like I was assertive, but not assertive enough. Uh, Sometimes in certain areas of my life, like fitness and eating healthy, I lacked consistency. I still sometimes struggle with you know, stress eating, emotional eating, if you like to call it that, at times. Also being afraid to do something different. So as you guys know, starting this podcast was literally a leap of faith and I had to just dive in all the way. Because if I didn't, I would not have started the podcast when I did. Another thing I struggle with is struggling with managing my finances, learning how to budget my money. Um, I'm still in the process of working on that because, you know, some of the financial things I wasn't really taught as a child. So I'm still learning how to manage my finances effectively. Another thing I struggled in this year was getting stuck, getting stuck in my head. So sometimes I could just gravitate to one thought or just focus on one thought and then that one thought turns into another thought and that other thought turns into something else and you know sometimes getting stuck in my head can be a very big hindrance to me so another so I did I didn't realize I did a lot of reflecting on my year while journaling Um, I just kind of looked up questions on google and went just did that um but i did so far a lot of different um journaled a lot of different areas for this year in review so one area i wanted to discuss was what what risk did i take and how did they pay off so one of the biggest risks that i took was starting a podcast right 
I told my friend I wanted to do Facebook lives like a year ago and that didn't that wasn't me that wasn't like me it was something I didn't really want to do and so I started searching other ways that I could get my voice out there and one day a light bulb went off and said hey I can start a podcast right so I started googling searching researching youtubing how to start a podcast and listening to as many podcasts as I could and I started a podcast and I remember my friend told me you know she was like when are you going to start when are you going to start stop playing around and start and one of the things that she told me was do it scared right and the Saturday that I released my first episode, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't make an announcement about it until that Monday, but I started it, right? It was a risk. I was scared. I was like, fam, I never did nothing like this. I'm just out here, right? And even though I was scared, I still did it. And even though I was scared, I felt so much release off of me like hey it's done now right you're out here you're done you you've done what you said you're going to do so even though I took that risk even though I was nervous and scared I you know you guys know that I've reached 200 downloads for the podcast and I haven't even reached two months well I did reach two months but yeah 200 downloads in two months is a pretty big accomplishment in my mind um and one of my goals for this podcast is to have even more downloads but I took that risk and I did it scared all faith did it scared I said God I'm out here I'm out here with you and lead the way right Another thing that I journaled about for my year in review is healthy habits. What healthy habits did I start in 2019? One of the first healthy habits, um, if you know me, is that I drink lots of water. I even invested in a stainless steel water bottle. So I drink lots of water every day. I try to get in at least you know, 60 to 80 ounces of water, sometimes more. Another habit that I started was exercising more, praying more often, not just twice or three times a week, but praying at least every day, listening to worship music daily. And another habit that I started was fasting once a week. It is important to analyze our habits because it shows us what we are cultivating in our lives Um, understanding our habits shows what cycles we are still in right so if I for example if I smoked I don't smoke y'all so but if one of my habits that was highlighted to me in this year if I was a smoker right and you know say I wanted to break the cycle of smoking I would have to replace that unhealthy habit of smoking with a healthier habit right so the drinking more water exercising more I wanted to get healthier so I needed to replace a unhealthy habit with a healthier habit so analyzing your habits are very important So the last thing um, for this part of the year in review is relationships. So we analyze, we should analyze relationships in our end of the year reflection. So I did four different questions um, to reflect on relationships. So the first question I did was, did you make any new relationships that enriched your life? Who and why so the two new relationships that I made that really enriched my life was that I met Janice and Brittany they go to my church and they enriched my life because you know we were able to hang out and just fellowship with one another and really just push each other spiritually and we also even have you know we have a few shared experiences together so you know we went to we went to the Travis Green concert together and I had an amazing time the next question that I did for relationships was which relationships improve the most in your life and why 
So the first relationship that I can think of right now is the relationship with my friend Ursula. We go to the same church. We've been at the same church um, for a while now, but we really grew grew closer in 2019. You know, she came to visit me in the hospital. I always text her to make sure, you know, where she's at, if she's at church or not coming to church. And we really grew, grew closer this year. Um, another relationship that improved this year was with my relationship with my best friend, Shelby. Um, this year, we took a vacation together. So that was fun. Um, we pushed each other a lot this year because Shelby is releasing a book. So I was able to push her and encourage her to keep writing that book. She also pushed me and encouraged me a lot this year as well. Um we were able to um, inspire one another just as friends. Um, me and my mom also grew closer this year because of a tough time and being, and being diagnosed with a illness. You know, your mom is always the one that comes comes to ride with you. So she was there with me every step of the way. So the third question I journaled about for this episode was which relationships took a downturn and why? Hmm. So one of the relationships that took a downturn um, taught me a lot of lessons this year. So I'm not going to mention this person's name. This podcast episode is not to belittle or talk bad about a person um it's literally about what I learned from this relationship so the first thing I learned from the relationship that went downhill was don't ignore the signs if a person is telling you that they do not want to be in a relationship right now or they want something else at this point in time believe them don't ignore the signs don't ignore the red flags I'm going to say it again. I don't care how good he is. Don't ignore the red flags. Amen. Another thing I learned was that we, that when you have expectations, speak up and say them. Speak up about what you want from another person and speak up about what you require of them. Because as seasons change, your requirements change for a person. Or as you change what you, how the person interacts with you will change. Another thing I learned from this relationship is that there was a lack of communication. And oftentimes when there is no communication, the relationship is, you know, is on the verge of going downhill, right? So in any relationship, please communicate. I mean, I would rather a person over communicate than under communicate. Another thing I learned in this relationship is that I still had some healing work to do, some soul work to do, that I still had, you know, little tiny pockets of of the fear of rejection and abandonment. And I'm grateful that I went through that experience because it showed me that about myself. And the last thing I learned about myself from this relationship is to pray for that person. You know, even though I was mad at this person, even though I was annoyed about this person, I would have moments where I would pray for that person, even if it was a short prayer like Jesus protect them. You know, Jesus, make them into the person that you want them to be. Jesus, help them see their identity in you. The prayers weren't that long, y'all, because I was still mad. But I still prayed for them, okay? I saw growth in myself because one of the things that I told myself is that I did not want to become bitter. I did not want to become a sour lemon. Like Gucci said, lemon, amen. I didn't want to become a lemon. Like Gucci man said, lemon. And that is all that I've learned from the relationship that took a down turn. 
so on next week's episode we will continue to do the year in review and then the episode after that we'll probably work on 2020 goals because it's no point to reflect over your year and not make goals right so next week's episode we will continue doing the year in review because there's still more questions to be answered so i hope you guys have a great week and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the mentally whole podcast